Can you tell me a little bit more about this challenge that you've got going on? Yeah, so the Jack Frost Challenge, it's a week-long um, kind of competition between Manitobans, um, friendly competition, we like to say, um, for, and it's encouraging people to get out, get active, even in the winter, no matter what the weather is, um, and it's great for mental, physical health, and also the environment, so. Okay, so how did this get started in the first place? Yeah, so this is the 11th anniversary. Um, so uh, we, it's seen a lot of growth the last couple of years, uh, but it originally started um, with Active Epica um, in kind of collaboration and, and, and bouncing off the idea of theirs, which is a 130 kilometer uh, race. So ours is kind of um, uh, just meant to reach your everyday person a little more so and, and um, uh, taking that number and, and making it a week long. Um, so the 130 kilometers, you can, you aim for that, whether it's individually or as a team, as a collective goal. So um, yeah. Okay. How many people participated last year? Uh, last year, I believe we had uh, about 1500. It wound up being during a polar vortex. Um, so uh, a lot of people registered and um, a lot of people took uh, took part as well, but um, in smaller batches, it, I, I've noticed. So um, it was a very cold week last year. <laughs> yeah, but that's very the point of fair. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I guess with this, my question is, how would you motivate someone to go outside and exercise when it's cold? <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I feel like I'm kind of the person we're trying to reach. <laughs> um, I can definitely uh, decide to stay in a lot of the time when uh, once I get out, it's just it feels so much better and, and you uh, you appreciate it once you do. It's just a matter of, of, of getting out. And I think this challenge um, just in itself is a motivating factor. Um, and it's the goal is to hopefully like build habits that you can you can continue to use throughout throughout the winter. So um, the fact that there's prizes also is a big motivator for a lot of people. Um, and, and yeah, it's, it's uh, just, it's a way to kind of have a collective goal and mission and feel like you're kind of part of a team, um, whether, whether it be you're actually on a team or just the event in itself um, and seeing kind of how you do and how you rank is always fun. Are there particular uh, activities that people do more often than others with this challenge? Uh, we do find there's like a lot of biking has increased a lot, fat biking especially, um, but more and more winter biking, especially the last couple of years um, with less people like wanting to pay uh, to transit and everything. Um, uh, they're finding different ways to, to get to and from works and their errands. Um, and then even just going for a walk, even shoveling snow counts or with, if you're with a you're doing it with your family, you can do like a snow sculpture building. So it's really just get out, have fun, get active. That sounds great. And also, I'm going to be one of those people who would need some kind of motivator to go outside. Yeah. In the cold. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you think people should know about this challenge? Um, yeah, I mean, like, it, with it being a collective goal and in it with it being the winter we don't know what the weather is going to be like again this year so um no matter what it is even if you can just get out uh, for a little bit on a daily basis um doesn't have to be a big trip doesn't have, even have to be going to and from work um any little bit counts so just log those kilometers and you'll be entered to win some prizes no matter what as long as you participate so um yeah even if it's it's only a couple days throughout the week um or every day and you you travel you completely put your car aside great so yeah just get involved and um hopefully we have a really big year this year well what kind of prizes are you giving out uh yeah so um this year we do have a staycation available and um, a one month kind of gym pass um that's a big one lots of gift certificates to local businesses we really like to use this as a way to support and promote um local businesses especially one like that have been struggling uh throughout the last couple of years so um yeah lots of awesome prizes various ones um from activities to gift cards to buy things and and whatnot it's it's fun 